for that uh, construction process. For the construction process, energy is required So that is known as that endorgonic process, endorgonic process, but in destructive process, it is known as that anabolism. So in destructive process, In destructive process, okay, energy is released. Energy is released. So it is known as exogenous process, endorgonic process, exorgonic process, exorgonic. Exorgonic process. So, in that exorgonic process, energy is released. Energy is released in the form of ATP. Okay. So, this energy is stored by the living organism in chemical bond. So this releasing energy stored by living organism in chemical bond. So that is known as that ATP. That is known as that ATP, adenosine, adenosine triphosphate. So, if any in a cell, if any cell organella required that energy, then ATP, okay, generally it is that potential energy depend upon the requirement of that okay cell organella in a cell then atp move that side and give that energy that's why atp described as energy currency of cell energy currency of cell it is important point okay so that is known as metabolic basis of life After that, living state, <clears throat> it means all metabolites having certain concentration in living organism. All metabolites having certain concentration so this concentration is different from one organ it means uh, this uh, certain concentration this concentration is okay different okay for example in living organism blood sugar so in that sugar content 
is present in blood okay so generally in the sugar content is present in the blood 50 ml to that 100 ml okay so in that 50 100 to that 100 ml 